Hey folks, I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics. I'm out here on the range and we often get questions from you all about how we became associated with RAND CLP and now bore and bolt as well as the, the hog grease. So I want to give you an overview of kind of how that relationship started so you better understand that I started as a user and then we became uh, an endorser and now we're working hand in hand with uh, RAND on new product development, packaging, whatever it is, we're trying to get the word out to people that this is truly the best product on the market, hands down. So many years ago, I received an email from the folks at Rand and they said, wow, we've got this great product. We really want to send you some to try it out. I was pretty busy at the time. So I said, okay, well, uh, you know, we charge a consulting fee to do that. And I really thought that would kind of get them to go away because we've seen all the snake oil salesmen from all the different oil companies. And every time I tried something, I'd made it fail very, very quickly. We shoot a lot of a lot of rounds on the range with our students and we can quickly give give lubes the thumb up or the thumb down so i figured i'd get this lube i would test it really quickly with a class that i had coming up and then we could say okay it's it's okay it's like every other lube and at that point i used to say the best lube was free lube because if i could get it i could put it on there was no difference between you know break free and any of the other lubes that were being used by the military and the new high speed lubes coming out in the market so this all backfired on me. They decided that they would hire me as a consultant, they would send me the product, and I would get paid to tell them that their product sucked. So they sent me the product, I started using it, I took it out to the range, and I did some high volume shooting, and I couldn't get it to fail. I had told them that I would take about a month to do this test and get a report back to them. Well, at the end of that month, I still hadn't got the RAND CLP to fail, so I started asking more questions. And one day, the, the fellow I was talking to at, at RAND, I said, uh, hey, there's a problem, I need some more time. And he said, well, what's the problem with the lube? And I said, the problem is I can't make it fail. Of course, he was delighted with that answer. I was not because I really thought that I was gonna find the weakness of the RAND CLP. So after that, I headed to Germany to run a class for the Special Forces guys that we were training. I was taking the lube and putting it in snow banks and trying to get it as cold as I could and using it on different weapon systems, military weapon systems, running suppressors, short barrels, glocks, whatever they happen to have on the range. And I just couldn't get it to fail. So at that point I thought, wow, this is, uh, this is a pretty cool product. Maybe it's, it's worth taking a look at. So at the end of about two months, I told them that I would definitely give their product the thumbs up and uh, they were pretty happy with that as well. So from that point forward, we started working with them on the business side, trying to see how we could further develop their business and get the word out to shooters that this was a good product. We had presented the product to a couple other manufacturers to see if they were interested in using their branding to make this product get a little bit bigger, and they really weren't. So after one of those meetings, the, uh, the executives at Rand they called me up and said, yep, this didn't work out. Would you be interested in endorsing the product and using your logo on the bottle? And uh, I, I immediately said yes, because I knew this is something that I would put the Viking Tactics brand on. I would stand up and say, yes, Kyle Am actually uses this product. 